So I spent about 10 years making video games for several companies in Brisbane. And I did everything from concept art right through to 3D modeling and texturing. And eventually I became lead artist at Pandemic Studios. My very first game I worked on was Dark Rain. And I ended up working on two major titles, Destroy All Humans and Destroy Humans 2. So in 2008, we had the global financial crisis, which affected the video games industry really badly in Brisbane. A lot of the companies just folded and went under overnight. So I lost my job with 200 other people, but then had nowhere to go. The whole industry was gone. Shortly after that, I thought time to do something new. We decided that we'd like a tree change. So we decided to move to Tasmania. I just love to go anywhere where there's wilderness. So I go wandering all over the place to find interesting trees, gnarled trees, things with personality. I love the Tassie Pencil Pines. They're so gnarly and interesting and some of them grow out across the tarn sideways. They cling to rocks. They're pretty hardy things. Some of them are about a thousand years old. So I find them fascinating. I remember uh, going for a walk at Mount Field National Park and I saw there was a couple of trees that had fallen and crashed into each other. I took a photo of it at the time because I thought that was interesting, but it wasn't until I got back home and had a close look that they looked like two people, two lovers, kind of embracing, and that was the inspiration for one of my pieces. My experience in the video games industry has helped me immensely in the, I guess what you would call this a fine art industry, and in ways you would never have guessed, like making prints of my art. If I didn't make prints, I would have starved to death on the street a long time ago. So every piece that I do, I scan. Some of them are enormous, they're two and a half metres long, and I'll scan that with 80 separate scans and I'll stitch them together in Photoshop. So I have an incredibly high res file which then I do a lot of Photoshop work in, clean it up, make it really, really perfect so that it looks exactly like the original when I print it. And most people can't tell them apart. I think what I do now is very different to what I did before. I mean, I was creating characters that ran around blowing everything up. Now I create characters like Mother Earth. <laughs> you know, most of them are feminine. They're very strong female role models. They're personalities that can survive and characters that in some sense can fight back. <laughs>